This ape says, it makes me smile to know that I have two more Thursdays in Q2 and I can go see more and more movies and spend money at concession stand. The hard question is, what do I see next? And then they circled the amount of releases, which is crazy because there was so many more releases in 2019 and look at the total gross, not too far from where we're at in 2023. These next few quarters are going to be massive for AMC and the overall box office. This ape says what they're doing with AMC and Ape, pinning the price and barcoding, shows complete control over the stock market. So we do not have free and fair markets, we have fraud and theft markets. It's not about money, it's about power and control. Who controls the money, controls the world. The deeper and deeper that we get into this play, the more that we've learned, I can speak for myself personally, I've learned a lot, and a lot of the things that I've seen have been shocking. This is very true, AMC's price went from $77 per share, down to $3.70 per share. Now the short interest went from 23 to 15% at the lowest. Shares sold short went from 120 million down to 75 million. And we are currently sitting at around 138 million. No way this is possible, not a chance. Fraudulent market with naked shorts running rampant. Now if you apes were to guess, let's just say, how do you think this is all going down? How is AMC's share price going down so much when the OBV looks so solid? And when there's as many positive catalysts and AMC is more fundamentally strong than it was a few years ago. Do you think there's going to be a massive, massive run when AMC share price really decides to move? And comment down below if you are going to be a part of it. This ape says, imagine being short AMC right now. Every tool at your disposal has failed in swaying the masses to sell. Now I've said this before and I'll say it again, the short sellers have got to be sort of frustrated with how much of the retail community is still holding strong onto their shares. Even someone like myself that does own shares of AMC, I'm even surprised and pretty impressed in how strong the community has remained. You can call a timeout and create a court case, stall price action. You halt, you create financial rug pulls with no relation to reality or the reality of supply and demand to encourage selling. All these attempts have failed, bullish news spills out of AMC, like popcorn merchandise, perfectly popcorn, box office records, concession sale records beaten. This is a nightmare to them. I mean, AMC really has to make a substantial move to the upside soon, because right now it's creating a substantial business. Which is why, in my opinion, it seems like there's been a dislocation in between AMC stock and the underlying company. But in due time, we're going to see how this all plays out.